welcome my dear Lana. Can you identify these animals? Number one, we have this animal here. Which animal is that? Okay, I'm sure you know about the cattle. Which breed is this? This one is a breed that we call Gansi. It's a dairy breed for milk production. What about this number two? Yes, this one is a sheep. Which breed is this? We call this one Merino. It's very good for wool production. Number three, we have uh, a goat. Which breed is this? This one is called Togenberg. Very good for milk production. Number four, uh -huh, what is that? It's a pig. This one is the large white pig. Number five, that's a donkey. Number six, uh huh. Yes, that that's a camel. Uh, which type of camel is that? Of course, it is the two-humped camel, which we call Bactrian, the Bactrian camel. Number seven. That's a rabbit. Which breed of rabbit is this? With red eyes. Good. New Zealand white. Number eight. Aha. Uh -huh. This is poultry. Aha. Uh -huh. Which type of breed is this? This one is a. Uh, Rhode Island Red Number 9 That's a fish Which type of fish is that? Tilapia Good And 10 mm -hmm. Which animal is that? Good The honeybee So this one leads us to an introduction of our topic today which is an introduction to livestock breeds now the lesson objectives by the end of this lesson you should be able to one define the term livestock two List down various livestock species. Three, distinguish between the terms type and breed. And four, explain the economic importance of livestock. Introduction Livestock refers to all those animals reared on the farm to directly benefit man. We have already given examples of such livestock and here we go again. Examples of livestock species include, yes we have mentioned cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, donkeys, camels, rabbits, poultry, fish, and bees. Those are the most common uh, livestock species that we have in the farm. Now, There are some terms that we need to understand. 
The various livestock are of different types and breeds. We need to understand the term type and breed as applied to livestock. Type. Type refers to a kind of animal kept for a particular purpose. Notice here, the purpose is what gives us the type of animal or the kind of animal. For example, dairy animal which is kept for milk. We have other types of animals that we may, uh, for example, talk about beef animal for meat, dual purpose for both meat and milk, and so on. Then the term breed. Breed refers to a group of animals having this, uh, the similar characteristics and a common origin. Having similar characteristics and a common origin. So breed is tied to characteristics and origin. For example, we talk about Jersey breed, uh, which is in dairy cattle. Now, why is livestock important? I want you to observe these photos here and try and just get... Wow, I didn't mean to make you salivate. <laughs> but anyway, what would be the importance of livestock? Uh, depending on that photo there, I am sure you have already mentioned meat. Huh? Meat is a very great delicacy for most of us uh, please don't salivate then we have uh -huh, what about that yes provision of eggs uh-huh from poultry what about that that's honey very sweet uh-huh and there milk so we can talk about provision of food. We can get food from livestock. Uh -huh. What about that? We are still on the importance of livestock. Well, maybe you can talk about uh, income generation. This is a lady who is keeping dairy cattle. I'm sure she's earning something from the milk. And it's also like a status symbol. Uh, if you keep such dairy animals, then uh, we may, you may qualify to be a wealthy person. So it's also a status symbol. Then what about that? Uh, somebody has seen a crate of soda somewhere, Sprite. Some goats there. Well, this could be dowry payment. Uh huh. What about that? There's somebody uh, on top of a cart there. Yeah, transport. What about that? Yes, plowing, animal power. Good. Aha, uh -huh, what about that? This is a animal wool from sheep, uh -huh, which can be used to make certain products. Uh -huh, there's a lady there. This she's wearing a sweater that is made out of uh, uh, wool. Uh huh. What about that? Uh, that's a hide from an animal, possibly cattle. That is also used for making certain products, uh, leather products, and so on, like shoes, etc. Then um, what about that? Somebody is applying something on the soil next to a plant there. Yes, manure. 
which is very important for crop production. Now I want you to observe this photo and tell me what is happening in this photo. What is happening? We have an animal there mm -hmm, that is releasing its dung or manure for that matter. And then there is a biogas generator. So in a nutshell here, we are producing biogas. So you can see how animals are very, very important. Uh, this biogas that is generated, uh, it's used for burning or, I mean, for cooking, for heating and so on. Good. So finally, what is the importance of livestock? Number one, source of food. We have seen uh, meat, milk, honey, etc. B, source of income from the sale of products. We can sell the milk, the meat, the honey, and so on, and we get some income. C, for cultural uses, uh, one is a status symbol that that is uh, livestock can show how one is wealthy that is wealth and um, a medium of exchange that is butter trade so animals can also be used as a medium of exchange apart from money d animal power animals can be used for plowing or pulling carts uh, as a case with transport and lastly e provision of raw materials for example wool fur mohair hides skins and dung that is used for manure and biogas synthesis so that marks the end of our lesson catch me on youtube you can follow my youtube channel and you'll be able to get more content until next time goodbye